All right, y'all, I just have a package here of these frozen burritos, the eight pack family size. I like using the bean and cheese, but you can use whatever kind you'd like. So we're just gonna put these in the pan, kind of just like so. This is perfect, all right? And just right from the freezer is great. Next, we gonna take some mild enchilada sauce. I like using this brand. And we just gonna pour this right on top of our frozen burritos like so. Well, this is one of my favorite recipes to make for a quick lunch or dinner. It's hearty and delicious. And my kids love it. All right. After that enchilada sauce, next we just gonna squeeze a little bit of lime. I have half a lime here, so we just gonna squeeze that right on top. And if you wanna use a whole lime, you can. I just like using half, especially this one. It's real juicy. Next, we gonna take some cheese. So I have this Fiesta blend, which I really like. So we just gonna spread this on top of our frozen burritos. Like so, a nice layer of cheese, all right? Nice layer. And again, you can use whatever kind of frozen burritos you like. I like the vegetarian bean and cheese ones, but there's also some real good ones that have some meat in them. Just whatever your preference is. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna use the rest of this cheese. You can never have enough cheese, right? All right. So after we have that, next we're gonna take some fresh pico de gallo. And you know what, I'm just gonna use my hand here. My hands are clean, I washed them before I started anyways. So some pico de gallo right on top, just like so. All right, and you know what, I also like things a little bit spicy, so I have some of these green chilies. These are fire roasted green chilies. So we're just gonna put a little bit of these on here too. Not too many, but we're just gonna spread these out real nice. Just like so. All right, I think that's good. Yeah, that looks great. All right, and then our last step here before we put this in the oven, I got some fresh cilantro. I love using some fresh herbs, so we're just gonna put this all the way around. Just, you can leave them whole. It's just kind of to make it look pretty. And if people wanna eat the cilantro, they can. We're just gonna put this on top like so. All right. So now all we gonna do here we're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes and you're gonna have the best frozen burrito hack ever. All right, y'all. I love using these, these frozen meatballs. And then we're gonna use two jars of this Alfredo sauce. And then we have one can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna put that right on top. Just like so. And then all we have to do here is just give this a little mix. Incorporate all these ingredients. So this is one of my favorite easy low carb one pan dinners. You're gonna see how easy this is. And these frozen meatballs, they already cooked. So this is super fast, super easy. All right, so after that part, again, you just have to give it a rough mix. We're gonna do a little bit of seasoning. Have some parsley. I also like to use this Italian seasoning blend. It tastes real good. Oh, they're coming out that good. Let's see. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh, that smells so good. All right. And then we're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit. All right, that's perfect. So our next step here, we're gonna add some cheese. So we're keeping with our Italian theme, I'm gonna use some mozzarella. And we're just gonna sprinkle this all right on top of our meatball and soft tomato mixture. All right, nice layer, just like so. Perfect. And then we are gonna take some Parmesan cheese and just do a nice little sprinkle on top too, all right? So easy one pan dinner. We just have some frozen meatballs and some nice pizza toppings. And then finally here, I like to add a layer of pepperoni, all right? So we have meatballs, we got pepperonis, some Alfredo sauce, we got canned tomatoes, 
the diced tomatoes. I just use one can for for two jars of that Alfredo sauce, but you can you can do it however you'd like. It's a real easy dish that you can totally customize yourself. All right, so then once we have our pepperonis like so, I think that's good. We're just gonna do one more step before we pop this in the oven, all right? So I know not everybody likes to eat low carb, but what we gonna do here, I have some frozen breadsticks. We're just gonna put these on the outer edges, all right? So if anyone wants to eat a breadstick, they can, but the dish is still low carb. These can be totally separate. All right, so we have our breadsticks like so. So now we're just gonna pop this in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. All right, now, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna use here six of these breaded chicken breast patties. I love making this dish. Next, I have a can of cream of chicken soup, all right? So we're just gonna dump this all in the center like so. And it's gonna spread out while it's cooking, all right? So we're just gonna make sure we get all this goodness out of the can. Perfect, just like that. I love making this recipe. My family loves it too. We're just gonna leave it right like that. All right, just for a little bit of liquid, we're gonna take a little bit of heavy whipping cream and we're just gonna drizzle it right on top. Now you don't need too much. We're just adding a little bit of liquid, all right? Next, we're gonna take some diced ham. You can also use the deli slices, but I really like using this diced cubed ham for this dish. And you know what, you can really use whatever you have in your fridge. A lot of times when I make these recipes, I just see what I have left over in my fridge that I need to use, and that's how I decide. All right, that looks real good. So our next step here, we're gonna add a little bit of fresh green onion, all right? We're just gonna sprinkle that right on top. Ooh, that looks so good. Those colors are just beautiful. Look at that. That looks great. All right, and then one of my secret ingredients to make this dish real good, we have some cream cheese here. So I just cubed it up, but we're just gonna put, um, we're gonna put some slices of cream cheese. I usually do six, like one on top of each patty, but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna spread out while it's cooking but this makes this dish so good. I love using this to cook. It's actually my new obsession. I love cream cheese lately. It just makes everything taste better. I just love it. All right, so now I'm just gonna push this down a little bit because we have, we have another layer we gonna put right on top here, all right? All right. So now here, what we gonna do is we have a little bit of bacon. So this is one of them things I'm talking about. This is some bacon I made the other day for breakfast and it was just cooked left over in my fridge. So you know what? We're just gonna rip this up and sprinkle it around because you know what? Everything tastes better with bacon, everything. I don't care what y'all say, everything is better with bacon, all right? Oh, this is looking so good. My family loves when I make this dish. It's really one of my favorite dinners to make, I'm telling y'all. Okay, so next, all we are gonna do here I have also some leftover spinach, all right? So again, this is one of them things. I just use whatever's left over in my fridge. So we're just gonna rip this up and just sprinkle it out right on top, like so. All right, and if you wanna use more, you can. You can even add some tomatoes if you'd like, but I think this dish is the best with just spinach. All right, now I'm gonna take my Swiss cheese, all right? I have some sliced Swiss cheese, and we're just gonna put this right on top. So this dish, we usually take about six slices. Ham and Swiss, what else is there? It's such a good combo. All right, so we gonna do that. So next, all we gonna do to finish this dish, I have a can of these crescent rolls. So I have these sweet Hawaiian ones. I really like that for this dish, but you can use whatever kind you'd like, all right? So what we gonna do here, we gonna open these up. All right, perfect. It's already unrolling, which is great, because we gonna unroll these little triangles all right, it's a little bit sticky, but that's all right. Oh, they come in a part, but that's all right. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna layer these like so. We're gonna put the points towards the middle, all right? Just like so. And some of these ripped, but you know what? That's okay. It's all going in the same place. It's gonna taste just fine. All right, so we're layering these just like so, making a pretty little design here right on top of our little chicken bake 
It's kind of like a take on a pot pie. In the South, we love making pot pies, so this is kind of like a little take on that, all right? So we're gonna use one more of these triangles, like so. All the points in the middle. And then all we're gonna do here, we're just gonna roll up the edges so they're all nice and tucked in this dish, just like so, all right? And if they already tucked in, that's just fine. So we don't want too much breading on this, so I just do a little bit like that. You can use the leftover dough if you want, but you don't have to. So you're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes, and I'm so excited to show y'all. All right, y'all, I just have my frozen beef taquitos here. You can use chicken if you'd like to, but I like the beef ones better. Just arrange them in your pan like that right out of the freezer. Next, we have some red enchilada sauce, the big can, okay? We're just gonna pour this all over the top of these taquitos. All right. And you know what, we just wanna cover the whole, all the taquitos, so you can use the whole can yeah, you know what, we're gonna use the whole can. I was gonna say you don't have to, but you probably should. All right, next here, I like to take a can of black beans. Now these are so good and they're real hearty, so we're just gonna sprinkle these all on top of our taquitos with our red enchilada sauce, all right? We're gonna do a whole layer. And I drain the beans. If there's a little bit of liquid left in, that's totally fine. All right, that's perfect. Next here, we're going to take some onion. I have some uh, diced up white onion here. And you know what, it just adds, it just adds some good flavor. I love cooked onion. And you know what, when I sneak these in here, my kids don't even know. They don't even know. They're just like, mom, can you make that dish, that taquito dish you make? They just love it. They love when I make this. All right, that looks great. So our next step here, we gonna take some, I also have a little bit of green onion. I know there's a lot of onions, but we're just gonna put a little bit because I, I like the flavor of these two. And you know what, it makes it look real pretty, real pretty right here. All right, so our next step, and this is, this is, this is it, my kids love this. We gonna take here, I have some salsa con queso. I just buy the kind in the jar, but you can use whatever kind you'd like. And we're just gonna give this a little mix and we're just gonna pour this right on top. Oh yeah. And you know what, it's kind of thick, but that's okay. You just get it out there like that. And once it's cooking in the oven, it'll thicken up and it'll spread out so you're even, okay? And I usually use the whole jar, but you can do whatever you'd like. Oh, that looks so good. All right. So once we have our jar of the chili con queso, you wanna make sure you get all that goodness out of there, okay? Get it all out gonna spread it a little bit, but that's okay. Again, while it's in the oven, it's gonna spread itself. So next here, I have a little bit of pico de gallo. So we're gonna spread this right on top. And you know what, I like using a lot of this because it also adds some vegetables. We got our onion, we got our tomato, because there is, I know there's a lot of cheese in this dish, but you know what, that's okay. It's so good, my kids love it. They get a little bit of meat from those taquitos, but then the rest is, you know, lots of vegetables. You got your onions, your tomato. That just looks so good. All right, we got one more step, and I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but you gotta add a little more cheese. You just need a little more cheese right on top, okay? So we're just gonna spread this out real nice, a nice layer of cheese like so. Little sprinkle, sprinkle, just like that. Mm -mm. I am so excited, this is gonna be so good. All right, and then when you have your last layer of cheese, we're just gonna add, as a final touch, I got me some fresh cilantro right here, fresh cilantro. We ain't gonna use all this, but a little bit. I'm just gonna pick some leaves off. I just think it makes it look pretty, you know? And I like my food to look pretty. I like it to taste good and I like it to look pretty. There we go. Just a few little leaves right on top. And that's it, you have yourself an easy, quick, one pan dinner or lunch. Your kids will love it. And you know what? You can also customize this however you'd like. You can do this with burritos. You can do it with taquitos. You can do it with vegetarian, however you'd like. All right. 
So we just gonna put this in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. All right, y'all, here we go. So I took this out of the oven about 15 minutes ago just so it could start to cool off. So remember, we have our frozen burritos in here. So I just like to finish it off with a few things before I serve it, all right? So what we gonna do here, we gonna take some tortilla chips. I just, whatever kind you'd like, whatever kind you have at home. All right, and all we gonna do here, you're gonna take a nice handful and we're just gonna crunch these right on top, all right? I, I like I like everything with a little bit of crunch, so this is really, it's just an easy topping. I just like to put right on top. All right, and you can use as many or as little as you'd like. My family really likes it crunchy, so we're gonna do a few more. All right, next we gonna take some sour cream, and we're just gonna do a few dollops. Sour cream, like so. Do a few around. All right, a little bit more here. And then last, we like to take some guacamole. Actually, this is just pureed avocado, but you can get guacamole too, whatever you'd like. I'll put some dollops right here. Oh, this is looking so good. All right, now we have one more thing to do cut into this baby and eat ourselves one of the best frozen burritos you ever had. All right, so I'm just gonna, let's see, I'm trying to remember how I did this. I, I don't really know, but we're gonna try and get one of these whole burritos. Let's see if I can without cutting it up. But you know what? I feel like I'm cutting it up right now, which is totally fine. It's like a burrito, frozen burrito casserole. That's basically what this is. So let's see, I'm gonna take this big piece. Oh yeah, look at that right here. And then I'm also gonna take some of this guacamole. You know what, I want this whole serving of guacamole. I'm gonna move this to the side. Let's see if we can see the burritos. Oh yeah, there's the burrito. It's the bean and cheese burrito right here. Let's, let's have a bite of this. This is gonna be so good. You know what, I'm gonna take a little bit of my sour cream, a little bit of my guacamole. We're gonna try this. Mmm. This is so good. All right, y'all, I took this out of the oven about 15 minutes ago just so it could cool off, but look how amazing that looks. We have our breadsticks, we have our low carb bake underneath, but you know what? I'm gonna eat one of these breadsticks. It just smells so good. And then you know what? I'm gonna serve some of this up right here. All right, I'm gonna move this one to the side. They're so soft. So we have here, it's just a meatball bake, meatball casserole, okay? You just use some store-bought sauce, some, some of those meatballs, whatever kind of cheese you'd like, that nice sauce right on top. And you know what, the pepperonis on top, it's my favorite part. So I'm gonna cut into one of these meatballs. I'm gonna get me a pepperoni. Mmm, that is so good. All right, y'all, here we go. We have our chicken, ham, and Swiss bake. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. I am ready to cut into this. So y'all remember we used those frozen chicken patties which are on the bottom. We topped it with Swiss cheese, some spinach, green onion, a little bit of ham and bacon. And then we have our crescent dough right on top. So it's kind of like a pot pie, kind of like a take on a pot pie. All right, let's get this out. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. We also use that cream of chicken soup. Look at this, this looks so good. All right, I'm excited to try some. Here we go, y'all. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. This smells so good. That cream cheese, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, give me some of that bacon. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna put this whole bite in my mouth. It's huge, but I don't care. Mmm. <gasps> mmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Y'all, okay, you have to try this. Mmm, this is so good. Here we have our amazing taquito bake. Look at that, look at that cheese. We have one of our little taquitos trying to pop out there. All right, so what we gonna do here to finish this dish, we wanna add a little bit of sour cream just right on top, okay? We just gonna do some dollops of sour cream right on top, just like so. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. All right, and then we're gonna finish it with a little bit of uh, green onion just right here. I think it looks real good, it tastes good. All right, so you know what, y'all? I am hungry. 
Let's get some of these taquitos out. So remember, we just put some beans in here. We put some black beans. We put some uh, enchilada sauce. We put multiple cheeses. So this is gonna be real good and hearty. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. These taquitos are fork tender. They're falling apart. Okay, look at that. You know what, I need some of this sauce. Right on top, oh my goodness, I am so excited. Mm. This is such a good dish. All right, so we gonna take a little bit of this taquito right here. We're gonna take some of our sour cream, our cheese. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Look at all this, mm. Such a quick and easy meal, my kids love it. Oh, it's falling off my fork, I better hurry up. Mm. wow, that is so good.